Hi, my name is William, and today we're going to do an introduction on how to measure tracks. When you're replacing your tracks or you need to order a new set, there's some factors that you need to consider, okay? And we're going to be looking at these factors. There's four important things that you need to know. So first one is going to be your track width. Second is going to be your link, the size of your link. You're gonna to need to know your pitch, okay, the link pitch. You're going to also need to know how many links there are on your track system. And you're also gonna to need to know whether it's a single browser, double or triple browser, okay? Depending on the type of application or ground that the machine is working on. Knowing the machine model and serial number in most cases is all you will need when buying tracks. However, it is good practice to know the exact track measurements you have. Okay, so let's go over to the whiteboard and put these four factors on the board. One of the first things that we need to look at when uh, measuring tracks is the width. Number two is going to be the pitch. Number three is going to be the number of links. And number four is going to be the number of browsers. So by identifying these four factors, you should be able to order your uh, tracks. When we're looking at their track width, I'm just going to draw a quick picture here. But when you look at the top view of the track, what you want to measure it is the width of it. Okay? So this distance right here. Okay? And that's going to be in millimeters nowadays. Okay? And we're going to use a number, say, uh, 320. So you measure from end to end on the track and that's gonna be your width. For your track pitch, this one's a, a little bit more uh, interesting. What you gotta do is you measure from pin to pin. You need to measure five pins or four links. So there's your four links. There's your one, two, three, four. Measure right from here. The center of that pin to the center of uh, one, two, three, four, five, your fifth pin. You take this measurement here. Okay, so you take that in millimeters. You take your number and then you will divide it by four. Okay, so whatever number you get here, you divide it by four and that's gonna give you your track pitch. And in this case, we're gonna use a number like 86. The number of links, of course, uh, you count the number of links all the way around the machine. Okay, and in this case, we're gonna use an example of 54. The other thing that's very important to know is how many browsers are on those pads, okay? So when you, uh, when you look at your pad, okay, you will see that there's browsers on there. And those are your browsers right there, there, and there. So this one here, it's got two browsers. Okay, so these are the four factors that you need to consider when ordering tracks. Another very important element that we didn't mention in the beginning is number five, your machine machine model and serial number. Now these two numbers are very important because they identify that what the machine is actually built for and what type of application it's being used for. Okay, so whether you're on soft ground, hard ground, uh, a lot of this machine information will actually determine all of this right here. If you're ordering these parts, you don't have the machine model or serial number, uh, you're gonna have to use these other four factors. Okay, so we'll, we're just gonna transfer these numbers over to this side, and here we have 320 millimeter width. We said we have an 86 millimeter pitch times 54 links, and these actually have two browser heads. So that's what you should be ordering right there. And that's the introductory part on how to measure tracks. So for a wide selection of tracks, you can visit forresthd.com. So if you'd like to support this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe.